Hey folks, welcome to Hayden Big Grilling. Now today, we're gonna be cooking a London broil on the smoker. I originally intended to do, or wanted to do a prime rib. Of course, the grocery stores didn't have that. I was gonna do a tri-tip, they didn't have that. So we're going with the London broil. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna prep it. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put our London broil, and I'm putting it in this container because it's too big to fit in a Ziploc bag. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take a fork. I'm just gonna go all throughout here, stabbing this thing. And the reason we're doing that is that way when we pour our marinade in over the top of this, that marinade will seep down into the meat. Now that we've got this side, we've done that side, we're gonna flip it over. I'm gonna do this side as well. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take this bottle here of Lowry's Steak and Chop. This is, if I'm gonna use a marinade for steak, it's gonna be this one. I absolutely love this marinade. And I'm gonna pour that entire bottle in here. And we're gonna put this in the fridge and we're gonna let it marinate in this sauce or in this uh, marinade for about two hours. For this cook, we're gonna set it at 250 degrees. I really like to keep my smoker set to 225 because when using a pellet smoker, when you smoke at 225, you seem to get more smoke than you do when you start raising those temperatures up. But we're gonna set it at 250, hope that we get a good uh, smoke in on this London broil. So let's get it fired up. So with this Z Grills pellet smoker, we fire it up, we hit that smoke cycle. Once the smoke clears out, then we'll bump it up to 250 degrees. This is what I mean when I say go through the smoke cycle on our Z Grill smoker. You set it to the smoke cycle, and that smoke will start bellowing out as those pellets drop down into the pot. So again, once that smoke clears out, it'll smoke like that for a little bit, and then it'll clear out, and then that's when you set it to your desired temperature. All right, so our grill is set to 250. We're gonna go ahead and raise the lid. I should have popped the top off of this first, huh? Look at that beautiful steak. Mm. I'll tell you what, the hardest thing about using Lowry Steak and Chop is smelling it on your steak when you open the refrigerator door. So we're gonna grab that steak. We're gonna put it right there on our grate. And we're gonna shut, shut the lid. So I shut the lid on it, but real quick, I'm gonna raise it back up. I'm gonna add my temperature probe I want to run it about right through here. That way we can monitor our temperature. Now we're going to ultimately finish this out at a medium rare temperature. But once it hits 100 degrees, then I'm going to move it over to the charcoal to get a reverse sear. Now when it comes to monitoring the internal temperature, folks, I cannot say enough good things about our Thermapro. My wife got me this one a few years ago. Thermapro has served me very well each and every time I've used it. I have used the temperature probe that come with the Z grills and I've gotten some kind of crazy readings. I've never gotten that with the Thermal Pro. Uh, one time it did give some crazy readings, but turns out I accidentally had it to set to Celsius. My fault, not the equipment. But between the Thermal Pro and the Thermal Pro Lightning, to just double check the, the meats, folks, very good set of temperature probes. So now that our steak is getting up closer to that 100 degree mark, what I'm gonna do is I've filled my, I say about three quarter of the way fill, filled my charcoal stack. And so we're gonna get our charcoal going. Set that there. And we're gonna get our charcoal rolling because we're gonna reverse sear that London broil to get it to that final temperature that we wanna be at. Folks, we got our coals good and hot. So what we're gonna do now, My internal temperature on my steak is 113 degrees. So I'm gonna put it directly over the coals. Sorry, I got a little bit of smoke in my eye. Put it directly over the coals until I get up to 120. Go along with our steak tonight, we're gonna have some old surfing turf. So I got my shrimp here. These are just medium sized shrimp. And I'm gonna come over with that Heath Riles garlic butter. Just gonna season up this side of them. I got my little rack here on this tray so that way it catches the seasoning. But after we come over with that, we're gonna come back with some Heath Riles Honey Chipotle Rub. Just 
sprinkle that over the top of what you've already seasoned. Now I already fired up my gas grill and while our London broil is still in the smoker cooking, what we're gonna do, like I said, I've already fired it up. We're gonna set it to, I wanna get it up to about four, 425. Four, 450 on our gas grill here. We're gonna take our shrimp. We're gonna set them on there, close the lid. We're gonna let them go about two minutes. Real quick, when using this basket, make sure that little piece there is slid over so that way you don't have what I just had and lose most of your shrimp. Y'all don't know how bad I want to cry right now. We got, we're gonna close the lid and let it go for another two minutes. So we just hit 120 degrees on our London broil. So I'm gonna raise the lid, flip this dude over. Beautiful color in there for that reverse sear. We're gonna finish it out. I'm gonna take it to 132. All right, folks, we've hit 132. Raise the lid. Oh, it's such a beautiful. We're gonna get this off the grill in the house. So we got our steak in the house. We're gonna let it rest about 10, 15 minutes before we cut into it. All right, so we let it rest. We're gonna cut into this thing and see how she's looking. The edges is a little overdone. So we stepped out in the carport. We're gonna try a bite of this here. Mm. It's a little bit overcooked, but I give that one a solid seven and a half out of 10. Uh, very good flavor from that marinade. And then everything else we cooked to go with it, very good. Belly's very full. So y'all please let me know what you think of the video. Y'all please like, subscribe, and enjoy this blooper by the way. We just hit her two minutes. We're going to raise the lid, give a quick flip. 